200 kilometers west of the Philippines, a coral reef in the South China Sea. Fishing was good, say Filipino fishermen, until the Chinese Coast Guard came. Armed ships laying claim to an area the international court says belongs to the Philippines, clashing with Filipino patrol boats and fishermen. They're making us feel like thieves in our own backyard, he says. Over a decade, China's expanded its military presence in the South China Sea, claiming a vast area based on history, ignoring international laws and claims, building military bases on reefs and shoals. The U.S. considers this international water, challenging China's claim through military drills as recently as last week. And we remain committed to strengthening our mutual capacities to resist armed attack. And now, under this new agreement, Manila gives Washington access to four more military bases to build runways, store equipment, and conduct training. To make sure that not an inch of our nation's territory will be lost. And our people's safety and security will be ensured. Beijing was quick to criticize. The U.S. is raising tensions, she says, harming peace and stability. The Philippines could face retribution from China, say experts. It shows just how far China has pushed Manila, that Manila is willing to consider taking upon itself some pretty significant risk if that's the cost of greater U.S. protection in the South China Sea. Pushback from the U.S., a signal that might not make China retreat, but just might make it think twice. Sasha Petrosik, CBC News, Toronto.